My name is Leo James and I'm a group leader at the Medical Research Council Laboratory of Molecular Biology and our exhibit is called Virus Wars. The best thing about being a scientist is that your job is to investigate how things work. The purpose of research is to find out about things we don't know, so in that sense it's highly creative. Uh, the best analogy I can think of is that it's a bit like being a detective. You have a lot of clues and pieces of information that appear disconnected um, and your job is to somehow put them together to find the answer. And what's particularly exciting about science is that often this answer can be something that no one else in the world has previously thought of. What inspired me to become a scientist was probably my high school biology teacher. Actually at school I didn't want to do biology, I wanted to study history and geography, but I was told that I couldn't uh, study those subjects together and that I had to do biology um, because my school was quite small and we couldn't timetable those subjects. So I was pretty determined not to enjoy biology but um, my biology teacher was so inspiring that by the end of the first term, biology had become my favourite subject and has been my favourite subject ever since. Uh, the things that my biology teacher did that was so inspiring was that he often uh, asked us questions to try and get us to think for ourselves, to find out the answers for ourselves. And in particular, occasionally he used to ask a particularly difficult question, which he called his lion bite question. And this was based on a, a cartoon that he'd done of our school emblem in different colours. And if you answered this question correctly, you got a copy of his cartoon in a particular colour. And the objective was to collect as many of these as possible. And if you collected enough of them, to achieve a fabled multicoloured lion bite. Um, and these things were so rare that I, I didn't know anyone that had one. And indeed, by the time I left school, I didn't have one either. However, years later, when I'd finished my PhD, I contacted my biology teacher and said, now that I've finished my doctorate, perhaps I could qualify for a multicoloured lion bite. And he emailed me the next day and said, well, that depends, email me your thesis. If I didn't work as a virologist, I think I'd be interested in working in some aspect of the social sciences. One of the problems in treating illness and disease is that often people suffering from these things live in the poorest parts of the world. And I think if we could provide a better way of giving them fresh water, proper sanitation and education, we could probably save uh, at least as many lives as developing antivirals or pharmaceutical drugs. The first science I remember doing, or at least the first experiment I remember doing, was when our teacher gave us um, a flask containing a mixture of uh, seawater and sand and asked us to give back to him three separate containers containing just water, just sand and just salt. And what was so exciting about this was for the first time we were being asked to think for ourselves. We weren't just being told information. Um, and whilst this was a relatively simple exercise, I think that something like that begins to teach what are the most important uh, qualities in a scientist, which are that you have to think for yourself, you have to be creative, you have to make hypotheses, and you also have to make predictions. If I do something, what do I expect to happen? The advice that I would give a child who is interested in science would probably be the advice that Francis Crick once gave someone who asked them what area of science they should investigate. And Francis Crick said that you should probably choose something that you find yourself thinking about the most. So whatever you find yourself musing over, over a cup of coffee or waiting for a bus or the questions you find yourself talking about with other people. And I think if you follow that advice, uh, you're guaranteed to end up with something interesting. One of the most important things I think that remains to be discovered is a way of being able to change genes in somatic cells. Some viruses are able to place copies of their genes into the human genome. And if we could learn from this and indeed improve it, we might be able to have a safe way of being able to change just, change just individual genes and possibly uh, treat diseases like cancer or inherited genetic disorders like muscular dystrophy.